you know, he can't work for Geek School. He doesn't know anything. All right, so if you can't help me, some, I'm gonna help myself. Give me a phone number. Can't do that, because they don't know what location it's at. Uh, it's at a Best Buy service center. What Best Buy service center? Y'all see the people in the Bronx? What y'all think about the people in the Bronx? Look. Oh, dang, he having a good day. Holding up the bill. Vlog video. It's Gary Jay. Wait, bro. So today we are here on Fordham Road. We're gonna do a little hood vlog for y'all. Yes. But today we are actually headed to Best Buy. We standing on business today, guys. Yeah, to see about our GoPro that's been in so-called service for the past three weeks. And so, it's like 99 degrees out here. Even the devil's walking around out here. Oh my god! So he definitely you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully enjoy your day. And we love you guys. Don't forget to stay hydrated. Yes. And don't forget to like share and subscribe. So we're going to see about our GoPro. I don't know if you guys have been noticing the last footage that we've been putting out been a little different. I know. But yeah, so we're trying to go get our stuff. Comment down below, guys. If you ever use Geek Squad at Best Buy. Or it's one of Rose favorite stores. Hey, guys. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can find some pens for my fitted. Hey. I was checking the one on 125th. I don't know if you ever seen the Cap USA. They got some joints in there. Like it. This is a nice spot. You ever go to Fordham in the concourse? Pull yeah, up right pull up right here. Right you get all the best stuff. Look. But they got mad jerseys too, you know? And they got shorts. Oh, they got a bunch of fitted. Bro, here looking for some pins for his hat. Hey, look at that. You already know what it is. That's cool, boss. Yo, they got the belts galore in here, guys. Oh, yo, y'all like these bling bling? First of all, it's been years since I've seen anybody wear these besides Jim Jones. He probably still Let me wear them. The back, the these is fire, guys. Y'all gotta yeah, come check the, these the, out. The yeah, hey, man. these belts are fire right here, too, guys. Like this one too. Oh, that's nice. CT. Oh, that's fire. Certified. Like that. okay. All the real rips know what this is. Hey, hell yeah. Oh, that's nice, too. I love the colors. Guys, that green look. <laughs> oh, green yeah. Green. It's very nice. It's very nice. They got the Yankees and the Mets. That's fine. Very nice. So, we're gonna check out Fordham Road. Tattoos, body good. Just walk in, chilling. Tattoos. Checking out some stores. We actually gonna go see about my camera at Best Buy. Because Best Buy playing games, guys. So, if y'all come to Best Buy Fordham Road, you should already know. We about to go see what's up with our property. Oh, they got food out here? Okay. I don't know. Hey, Chicharron. You want Chicharron? No. Nope. I don't like Chicharron. Oh, the New York icy lady. I remember when these things used to be a dollar. Now they're like $250. Ooh. $2. They tweaking. Yo, guys, how y'all holding up in this heat, man? How, how do y'all hold up in this heat? You go to the pool, uh, the beach. Take a bath. I, I was willing to go put my head inside Orchard Beach, but if y'all know Orchard Beach has like bad reviews, so it sucks. Like, don't do it. Don't move, we're about to check out some. I just want to see if I can find something different. Okay. All the way in the back. What's nice in here, y'all? Wow. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I like that. Very nice. Nice in here. That's cool in here, too. Oh, we got some. Okay, let's see what we got. Hey. Oh, yeah. nice. Oh, it's different. Oh, yeah. huh. $30. 30 So this is what I was looking for, something like that. It's the same one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, these are cute. I like these ones. 30 Oh, that's fine. I like those. I like this one more than anything. Yeah, because you already know New York. We got kicks in here, y'all. You already know. Well, if y'all want the expensive shoes, this is what y'all come. Yeah, it's nice in here, y'all. It's nice in here. They even got jewelry for y'all. Okay. For them lit today, y'all. Everybody's outside. When it get hot, everybody outside. And then at the same time, it can get very dangerous. So you definitely got to be careful. Oh, they got a new Wendy's. Okay, for them. Huh? New Wendy's. Hopefully the customer service is good. Because y'all already know. New York City customer service ain't the best. All right, we almost at the best buy, y'all. I'm about to go down, see what's up with our camera roll. Y'all see the people in the Bronx? What y'all think about the people in the Bronx? Yeah. Oh, dang, he having a good day. Holding up the building. Oh, Bruh. man, he shouldn't be doing that. Oh, they got an insomnia cookie in Fordham? Okay, I see y'all insomnia. Okay. 
They need a crumble cookie out here, y'all. They need a crumble cookie. Hey, ASAP. All right, y'all. So one thing about Fulham Road is that it's always packed. There's always lots and lots of people, no matter if it's hot, if it's cold, if it's raining, there's always a lot of people out here. And here we are, Best Buy. Da -da -da. So let me give you guys actually the backdrop. So we actually was having experience and difficulties with the camera. It was flickering and at some points it was actually turning off. So we decided to bring it to Best Buy because we had warranty. And what happened before was when we had the warranty, they just uh, gave us back our money and we was able to just get a new camera. But this time when we came, they told us that we had to send it out for repairs for Geek Squad, which would take about two to three weeks. So today actually makes three weeks from when we dropped it off. So we're actually coming to inquire about our property. So, Listen what they say. Yes, might have to call the police. You never know. Let's see what happens here today. The geeks wall. Okay, we just gotta wait. So we wait. We are the only ones here. Yeah, we're so I'm gonna assume that the person that serviced us last time is here because he did say he only works on the weekends. So mm -hmm. I don't know, we took a jab and took a picture of him. I'm about to go upstairs and speak to the manager. Maybe he's around. Last time I spoke to the manager and he was like trying to help me. So let's see if he can help me today. We want to get online, we online. Definitely want to go speak to somebody important because people in here don't know anything, guys. So this is actually the best buy on Fordham Road in the Bronx and Webster. So if you have any no experience and technical difficulties in this store, just know it's not just you. There's something wrong with this store. So I'm gonna go upstairs and try to speak to the manager that I spoke to last time. And he was trying to help me. But let's see what he talked about. Let me see if I can find the manager. So I wait. I'm trying to see if I can speak to a manager, man, because it seems like people in here don't really know what's going on. Yet alone, we gave them a camera that was almost four or five hundred dollars, and even the manager said they can just give you back store credit and you can use it to whatever you want. So that's basically what we're trying to see. What what's the deal? So stay tuned. I'm trying to see if I can speak to someone. Meanwhile, it's even a lady in here yelling and arguing with the manager. We just spoke to someone about my camera, and he's gonna tell me that he told me three to four weeks. First of all, when you're taking somebody's property, you're supposed to make sure you update the services online with the service number, but they didn't do that. So I'm checking online. It keeps saying in transit, in transit, in transit. How is something in transit for the past three to four weeks? Where did y'all send it? Nobody knows anything. Nobody can help us. Nobody can do nothing. So we're talking to a manager to see what he can do. All they had to do was replace my camera knowing that I had insurance on my camera. But the fact that we had to send it out just wasted a lot of time. So we're gonna see what they say when the manager goes to speak to someone else like he said that he needs to. So let's let's see. Try not to be upset and frustrating, but it is frustrating because we use the camera for you know vlogging for all our stuff. So we actually took a chance to leave it here and now we're like in limbo. Nobody can help us, no one knows anything. Meanwhile we use their service plus the warranty. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, we actually put warranty on the camera so we wouldn't get caught up like this and it seems like they don't nobody knows anything. So yeah. comment down below guys if you ever had this experience or if you even know about this store. Basically the guy that was downstairs basically told us anything to dismiss us. That's how I feel. He wasn't trying to really help us. I went to a manager and let's see if a manager can help us. If not, we're gonna have to go to corporate. Sad because we might have to file a civil lawsuit just to go through litigation to get our property back. Yeah. Is even someone in here yelling at the manager? Even this lady here arguing with the employees that y'all hire is trash. A few moments later. All right. So if you can't help me, some, I'm gonna help myself. So I'm, I'm trying to right, do your thing. Trying to be nice in here, but you can't, 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 can't do nothing. Nobody know where my camera is. Nobody know where it's at. Ain't no updates. Ain't no emails. Ain't no responses in transit for the past three weeks. Are you a manager also, sir? Yeah. Yeah, so I was explaining to him. We came in with a damaged GoPro. It kept flickering. It kept turning off. The guy that helped us downstairs, Carlos, said, listen, we can send this out for repair. You have warranty. We vlog. So I think with whatever you need to do, just do it. We need our camera. So we filled out paperwork. We got all the information. We are trying to find out where the GoPro is because it then said, says it's stuck on, in they, transit they for three, three weeks. weeks. Which he said it can take up to three weeks, two to three weeks. We want to know where our property is so we can continue vlogging. This is our livelihood. That's all. And I'm upset. Bro, what are you talking about, man? The guy that was helping us, really, Honey, he don't know. He don't know. So I asked to speak to a manager that maybe could give us. This is the paperwork. This is all of the, you know, the repairs. Is saying in transit for three weeks, sir. No so update. As far as I, we know it's lost in transit or it's 
I don't know. We don't know. So we coming back to Best Buy to figure I out. I called Best Buy several the times. The Spanish guy that stood over there last time. I don't even remember his name. He was a young guy. He had a beard, but you know, Spanish guy. I think he had like a bald head. He said, yo, if they don't have you in three weeks, come back and we can give you a refund. You have warranty. You can use it to get a TV, a camera, a watch, whatever. It's your property. Give us a second. Thank you, sir. Just doesn't make sense. I just want my camera. Yeah, I just want my, I just camera. Want my camera. Give me the credit card. Yeah. Doesn't Promise. make sense. Guys, I tell you, if y'all don't pull out your cameras when y'all got situations, you won't be here. Yeah. So, we'll so we're going to see. Because honestly, I, I, I don't want to be like that. Y'all know me. I try to stay humble and not and out of character. But I, I got to do what I got to do because it seems like they're not going to help us. So I got to do what I do to help myself. So that's yeah. life, right? This sucks. Never again. I'm going to tell you that. And right there's now. a lot of people in here that's a little upset about their services. And that's what I'm saying. What are we doing? We here? spend lots of money on yeah. our equipment. And, and put to the just, warranty just so we and to and just get let it with this. be garbage. No, I'm sorry. No. Yeah, and the people in customer no. service. I value my dollar. Trash. It's the customer service here that is terrible. So let's see. I spoke to the manager. Let's see if he can help us. Fingers crossed. Comment down below with the fingers crossed. Yeah. The last person I spoke to, I should have took it. I did take his name, but it's been three weeks. His thing was, he said it, you could come back and get a camera. He said, because it's a warranty on this property. Yeah, he said, it, it, well, when we checked them, things been 20 days. So you probably have to give it like a few more days. There's no updated status on the product. So we don't know what you Yeah, it just I'm says in transit. Where is my GoPro? You just well, say, it's in a service center, but they, right now they're either trying to fix or figure out, hey, are we just going to get one? And like I explained to the last manager, he, you're right. They don't make GoPro 8s anymore. They already have 12. Yeah, so that's why the most likely the they product can't. is going to give you a... But we got to wait till they give us the okay though for us to do it. I don't want to argue with you, but I still feel like that. Like, you're not... You just, like, not true, but you're just dismissing it. And that's what we did last time. Okay, we have patience three weeks. It's been three weeks, though. 20 days, three weeks, it's the same. Bro, Sunday is not a business day. Yeah, because for oh, is it Euro 8? They're most likely gonna do a junk up, but they gotta give us the okay though. Like they have to give us. So okay. let me ask you, you the manager, what do you suggest? Well, and because I don't control in the service center, they do get a lot of product, so it does. That's why it takes a while because they get a not just product from the Bronx, they get product from all over, all all the places. Yeah, but how can we contact someone to like? Yeah, who can we contact at the service center? Is there a number? Nope. Maybe they can send y'all an email to tell y'all, hey, we can't fix this product. Just give. Man, I've called Geek product. Squad, I've called Best Buy customer service, and nobody knows yeah, where exactly the product is at. Keep calling, and I'm gonna come back. So it's like. That's my contact you to let you know hey your product is ready. Do you um, get an email? I have to from, yeah, you do get an email usually when it tells you. I mean, I'm hand. asking you, bro, can you help me? I just want my camera and my money back. Either A or B or telling me to wait a few more days. Like we know that. I have that's, to come. that's the only way that I'm able to give you the money back. But can you uh, send an email to someone to say this product is like like tag it or flag it or I can send the email but yes. they won't reply to me the same day. Well at least you did something. But I can send an email about Thank this though. At least sure. they gotta maybe give they got it just sitting there. Uh, you just gotta give me the. I gotta take yes, to the please. Water. Thank you. I mean, help me. I mean, you the manager, right? They got store, right? I bought a camera. It broke. I brought it for repairs. You told me you could fix it. I'm waiting to know where my camera's at. That's it. And then you saying a few more days. So like you saying the end of July. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not the really end of July. We're really tired of sitting here waiting, getting excuse after excuse, and how they can't help us, and they only can send an email, but that they're not gonna respond to their email as fast as we want them to. It's not the point. Give me a phone number. Can't do that because they don't know what location it's at. Uh, it's at a Best Buy service center. What Best Buy service center? Give me a address because I would go there myself to see what's going on with my camera. It doesn't make sense. People spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in Best Buy. And y'all are just, whatever. You gotta wait. Oh, 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 you gotta wait three weeks. It's three weeks. Boy, you gotta tell me 20 days. What's the difference? What is the difference? I brought this June the 2nd. Today is June the 22nd. Make it make sense. Nobody has come back, y'all. It's been like 20 minutes and we're still standing here waiting. Look at the prices of these cameras, right? This is how much we spend on these cameras, okay? These, these cameras are not cheap. This is on sale. These cameras are not cheap. This is the exact prices that we've paid for our camera. So I want my camera back. Yes, I absolutely do. Rose on the phone with our lawyer. See what we got going on here, cause Got to call lawyers, man. Have your lawyers on deck. 
All right, y'all. So they refuse to give us our money back. He's still telling us to wait. So we don't wait for him to come out and we'll see what he say as far as what is the situation with the camera because they ain't giving us no answers. They're giving us the excuse after excuse, which I hate excuses. If you guys are doing your job correctly, then you will know what to do with our property. Um, they don't know what service center is at. They don't have a phone number for us to call. They don't even have an address for them to give us. Oh so we gotta wait and see. They've been gone for like 20 minutes and doing I don't know what. But all I want is either my camera, my money, or a replacement. That's it. I mean, that's the best that I could uh, come up with. Because again, we left y'all with our property, period. So let's see what happens. Oh, here we go. It's Carlos, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not dealing with this. Look, look, look at this. This is the day for today. He don't even know. Look at his face. Look, this is the idiot that was sitting here dismissing us. Basically, he don't want to give us no help. Let's call it. He don't know what to do. Look, Geek Squad. This is not Geek. He, don't, he can't work for Geek Squad. He doesn't know anything. I got to laugh because he's giving my husband excuse after excuse. One hour later. I'm upset, but I'm more upset with Carlos. He walked right into the fire. You was the one that was supposed to help us. He's very passive aggressive and he's like very dismissive. I don't like that. If you ain't a man to face with, you could tell me whatever. At least we communicate. With the escalation, I should have heard back from tomorrow, probably the latest week. Monday. Monday. Um, and then from there, don't let me know if we can jump it out of the store. That's all I wanted to know. No one knows anything, and you the only one that said, well, let me try to inquire. I also emailed you. So, so emailed you did your job. Why nobody else want to help us? So wait a few days. Wait a few days. Um, I already got your email. Mm -hmm. I got it there. Okay. Okay. You want to put your name here? Yeah. I'm telling you, I mean, if you say you're going to handle it, I trust you, bro. Because the way I'm going to handle it ain't the right way. But I, I know to go make a complaint. Right there, right? Got you. Right. Um, and I'll have by today, latest Monday, and then if I'm not, you know, I have one of my other men to take care of. Right? Awesome. Thank you. You updated. Now I can wait and know something, not just sitting and we just, we can't contact nobody. So my thing is, when I check the service number, what's it going to say? Um, It's probably going to still say the same thing, it's just crazy. because I escalated it. Um, Maybe now I escalated my update. And yeah, they might get on in like a little. Did something. Yeah, if it does it that way, then you, you work tomorrow. Money. Money. Yeah, I mean, right, because you tell me come tomorrow, you ain't even here. Um, if not, we, there's no way. If we have to give you money, then we gotta do Okay, so let's see what happens yeah, tomorrow. Right. I'll figure it out. I'll call you guys and let you guys know. Like, I trust you, right? Let's see, babe. You trust them? What should I? I can't say. I only trust God. Yeah, amen. Sorry about that, guys. All, All right. right. The next day. All right, y'all. So it's day two. And we back. We back. And that's fine. So we got some good news. Well, first off, they're gonna give us our money back. Or not, not our money, but our store credit for the value of our camera so we can get a new camera. Which we already knew, but we trusted their process. So we want to shout out to the manager that helped us yesterday. His name was Randy Gabby, right here on Fordham and Webster. Thank you, Randy. Yes, out of all the people that was in this store, Randy was the one that was able to help us. So he gave us a call this morning, like Jazz said, and told us to pull up. And let's see what happens. Stay tuned. We're going to try to see if we can get an upgrade. That's the goal today. Yeah, so pray for us. Come on. Let's Keep go. our fingers crossed. Let's go, guys. All right, guys. So I got my store credit. Right here. What do we do with our No thanks to the God I man. Oh, I know. Thank you, Randy. Hopefully you yes, see. Yes, hopefully you get to see this video. Let's go find a camera. So now we're on the hunt to see if we can get this next upgrade. So we're going to find ourselves first and who can help us get a new camera. So stay tuned. All right, so we got some good news, guys. We got a new camera. We back in the business. Just the thing, guys, what we would have done if we couldn't bring you guys great content, that would have been a headache. But we're yes. grateful that we was able to get something. And not only that, we got an upgrade. So hopefully you guys enjoying this video. So hopefully you enjoy your day, man. If you're new to our channel, forget to like and subscribe. Yes, guys. We see you guys when we're using our new camera, yeah? Peace.